second, nobody. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the season 48 first round match between. Wait for it. Pastex. Pastiki. I don't know how you meant to pronounce this with Amazons and Thomas T with his Dark Elves, his usual beaten up Dark Elves. And <laughs> in the booth with me is Kalon. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, Pastek. I think Pastek um, mm. is how I'd pronounce it. He is a Frenchman. Oh, he's French, um, yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, and Thomas T, uh, the perennial um, Dark Elf coach. Um, mm. Excellent coach, Thomas T. If uh, he didn't roll ones for every single GFI, <laughs> um, he would actually go really far. Mm. Um, but Jesus, the man rolls ones on GFIs. His or, dice are appalling. Or if he played Necro. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, Jesus, yeah. Uh, for anybody who doesn't, doesn't get that reference, uh, Thomas T has the... Uh, best uh, continuous win streak in um, undefeated, in I think. Un undefeated uh, streak in uh, CCL history uh, with uh, 48 games undefeated with Necro, mm. which is incredible. That's yeah, pretty good, yeah. So uh, trying to get a level on this rookie witch, uh, it's very nice. sunny, uh, might have forgotten it was very sunny, although he's not particularly worried about the Amazons coming and threatening this ball. This is very dismissive. I mean, this is a pretty mean dark, uh, pretty mean Amazon is. team, isn't it? I would it think, is, yeah. Like, if you take coaching out of it, because I don't know how good Pastek is, um, mm -hmm. I would definitely rather be the Amazon team here. So that's that's yeah. pretty greedy doing a pass there. <laughs> it wasn't even leveling the witch. It was just it was just putting the witch on one anyway. It would have leveled the blitzer yeah. if if the blitzer had been doing it. At least it would be mm. for level. But it was just okay. just putting one yeah, on the witch. A getting her to um, MVP level, yeah? Yeah, that was right piss take. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, yeah, no, Pastique's fairly, de fairly decent. Uh, saw him play Elliot earlier on today, in fact. Uh, making use of this uh, weak diagonal that he left yeah, available and as well. I, would, I tried to point it out when we, just with my mouse, because, you know, that was, he, mm. he should have put somebody over there to shut it down, didn't, yeah. and then he's managed just to stop it himself. I wouldn't, wouldn't have minded one more player going through, but he hasn't yeah, bothered. Yeah, jeez, if he got to stand firm even, just to separate those couple of guys over on the left from the rest of the force, that would have been pretty nice as well. So mm -hmm. it's, it's not a great team. Um, the Dark Elves, like, not at all what we'd expect uh, as the usual from um, from uh, Thomas T. Uh, doesn't have a huge amount of, um, well, anything, really. No, uh, I mean, rookie... he, he often gets a beaten up team, but this is this is yeah. next level beaten up. There's like nothing left. Normally he has like normally he has a couple of good players with multiple injuries and stuff. But yes, he just seems to have nothing here, does he? He's got a move up it's guy. Really nothing. He's a move up guy. He's a, a, a blood stepper. Um, he's got a, a blood step tackle uh, up on the right. Those are those are the three blitzers that are survived. Um, we've got a wrestle guy to block linemen, I believe, and uh, that's it. And somehow all Even he's got has is a loner. Babe. Somehow all he's got is a babe, and he's up against a tackle palmer, guard, 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 yeah. guard, mate, Another block, tackle mighty. Block, yeah. DP, block, tackle, wrestle, like, what the hell? <laughs> well, uh, you know, Amazons are pretty TV efficient, and uh, Dark Elves are not. Mm. Um, but yeah, there's no. Um, the, do the heroines have any? Um, they don't have any other inducements, do they? No, you just checked and there wasn't any. Do they have a baby? Tom, Thomas T no. had the babe. Oh, Thomas T has the babe. Cool. Mm, he's down. That's what I mean. He's, he's actually like, down. He uh, he's crazy. Down TV, but only a babe. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, do you know, um, it, it'll be an interesting one. Nevertheless, uh, we'll see how much um, of the. Uh, consistent pounding of the mighty bow tackle he can get in uh, <laughs> certainly there's a couple of uh, choice targets for all for of a, it for a good pounding yeah but he's gone he's gone straight in oh well yeah identified the tackle as the thing to hit and has gone straight in for it as well mm -hmm. nothing doing but the sidestep yeah he already moved his uh, dp yeah so gone straight away for the rackler uh, and one in nines wrestling again the blitzing again mostly. like yeah classic yeah. So looks like he's gonna have a fight here, uh, which is interesting. I'm not sure I like it. I would not get involved in a fight with Dark Elves, or with um with this Dark Elf team versus this uh, Amazon team. I would I would not fancy my chances of getting out of it. No. Um, right. He's really narrowed himself in here. 
Uh, maybe hoping to see if there's a bit of a mistake made and a bit of a, a misplay. Yeah, he's trying to turn it into a dacker, isn't he? <laughs> a little bit. The old half dacker. Mm. Cheeky little 3 2 to get out there and uh, reinforce the side of the cage. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is pretty good. Like, the Amazons would just want to collapse on this anyway, right? Yeah, but, um, yeah. But then it's risky as they do, isn't it? Because they might get them way out. So they've got to be, yeah. they've got to be intelligent about it. They have to be disciplined. Yeah. And of course, with the all of the mighty blow tackle means that they don't have stand firm, which would have made it significantly stronger if they were did decide to collapse in. Yeah. But um, is this I a think I would have. Yeah, it, is, it, it must be. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So because of the sidestep, um, it's the only reason to take them, right? Yeah. It's because of the because of the sidestep. The old one and nine there. I would have rather that side step would come down around the corner as well and put that girl where that catcher is. Yeah, but then he'd be leaving him a bit open. He's, he, he already displayed how conservative he was on the blitz, right? The fact that he True. left everyone there, so he's, he's definitely going to hang back them all. Yeah, fair enough. It's a nice big hit back on this uh, mighty blow tackle and uh, can re uh, reformat the cage. Uh, in the inside here, and uh, probably managed to get a couple of extra hits from himself as well if he wants. Mm. Interesting, Ooh, wasn't boy. it? Sorry, fast I just, boy uh, goes through. Yeah, I've just got to say it was an interesting, an interesting point about playing blood ball and games in general is you've got to be able to identify those kind of tendencies like quickly, haven't you? And uh, you know, so like Thomas T probably did realise, you know, that once. You know, he didn't go fully commit on that blitz. That pass deck was going to be a bit more passive and stuff, and, and not push for things in, so he can use that information to his yeah. advantage potentially later in the match. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. It was super interesting and uh, and and well explained. Thanks. Mm. <laughs> yeah, because fast boys. Well, he's very fast. He is fast. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of the sprint? Shit. Yeah. I mean, I'd would you rather? Same. Would you? Would you rather no, I'd sure feet? Step. I'd go sidestep. Yeah, I'd go. Side but I'd go sprint step. first, um, just because. Would you? Yeah, because oh, it lets the side you. Step. Yeah, uh, no, 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 no. I'd go sidestep first. I'd go sprint yeah. before sure feet, because sure okay. feet doesn't let you go anywhere extra. Mm. You know. Mm. Okay. Cool. A sprint yeah. lets you do something that you wouldn't otherwise be able to do. Mm-hmm. And I, th I value that over the tiny. Over the rerolls. Yeah, the tiny added extra consistency because obviously I wouldn't yeah, want to cool. GFI with him unless I had to anyway. Yes. But being able to GFI three is better than having a reroll on one of those GFIs. Yeah, that's what mm. I think. In general. Mm. Yeah. Super interesting. In general. Every time you say super interesting, it's. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I don't, I'm not taking the pace. I, it really I honestly, sounds I'm like not. you're taking the pace. I know, I know. I'm really sorry. It's, <laughs> it, it's, yeah. It's my I'm actually paying attention uh, voice. <laughs> Ooh, oh, wow, quaddies. Wow. Classic Thomas well, at least, D. At least he didn't, classic Thomas D. At least he didn't um, remove himself and thus uh, not provide a, a screen with his prone body. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty rough. Carry and the witch, get, the witch gets hit here as well by Palm. Mm. Ooh. Well, yeah, no need to Palm that. No. Super interesting. Hmm. Right? <laughs> oh! Yeah. <laughs> need to get the, the quads back. Uh, it's code for shit. Yeah, no, it's not. Oh, yeah, no, and I'm really, I'm aware of it as well, and I try really hard not to. But the thing is, when I start getting interested in what people are saying, I'm like, oh, really? That's really interesting. And I don't mean it as a, as it sounds. I'm aware that it sounds like I don't mean it, but I, I do mean it. I do think it's interesting. Thanks. <laughs> it's really awkward. I know it's one of those. Well, you know, because we're all nerds and we all have our own little bit of awkwardness that we have in different times and that's that's where mine most manifests itself it's the same as the whole fucking correct thing you know yeah yeah, yeah. correct it's like really who says that <laughs> what the fuck like fuck you man <laughs> correct you <know>? yeah. <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> so 
Uh, yeah, so <clears throat> nice turn by um, Pastek, uh, mm. taking all of his uh, blocks really, really well. Uh, really well worked. Um, really nice to get the Witch out. I think um, it, it's interesting. It, it was much nicer, obviously, to have the, um, the Palm still available and to not pile on because, you know, there's a four plus for this guy to come back. But with the Babe in play uh, and with the fact that he was very likely to just score next turn anyway, uh, I think the pylon might not have been terrible there. Yep. Um, so, yeah, in interesting though. Pylon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. So, big favourite now, I think. Uh, Pastek, three turns is yeah. enough, isn't it? Would have liked four, but three Hit. is fine. And then three is fine. Yeah. Mm. There's only a couple of block steppers, not too much defensively. Not really, yeah. And the fact that that witch is a rookie is... Well, glad that she came back, obviously, but um, down to 10 men for this drive, um, for this short drive. And uh, hopefully leave it at that, because it would be a bit of a shame if this turns into what could be a bit of a whitewash, and that could easily happen as well. Um, both the tackle... Oh, no, okay, cool. It's just repositioning. I thought he had put both the tackle over on the right-hand side there, and I was about to cry foul. <laughs> but this is all, this is all fine. Maybe not. Maybe with the three turns, I don't know that I'd necessarily fight the whole line. But I but suppose what? the blitz defense is pretty good. Yeah, mm -hmm. not that good. Not, not that good. It's not that good at all, really. Yeah, and the witch can come in here and be the real annoyance. Yeah, because the pushes get an extra. Yeah, the hit, pushes so. are great. Yeah. Clears and uh, and gets gets her fully out of the way. Yeah. So even with the the dodge, it's just absolutely fine. It's just clearing her out of the way, which is great. Yeah. And uh, yeah, can get all these guys all the way down past, and uh, get fast boy underneath. And yeah. uh, all of this is pretty strong. He's gonna have to leave probably the the last of the side steppers on top of the stand firm though. Uh, yeah, gonna have to bring him over and, and stand on top. And, yeah, just reinforce that first because it doesn't involve the uh, the GFI. But you just get hit by the. Yeah, go ahead. Cool, cool. Yeah, cool. Fair enough. Oh, diced. Diced. Yeah, he was diced. <laughs> He's diced after that blitz, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, correct. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's rough because you don't really have a scoring threat. Like, yeah. throw away scoring threat. Because you don't want to make the stand firm a scoring threat. You don't want to really no. make the, your blood step a scoring threat. And you can't, yeah. guard, you can't take guards out. There's really only the dirty player that can just bez forward as a scoring threat here. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, pretty much it, isn't it? And the rest of it's all pretty horrible as well. Yeah. And you obviously you want to defend, like, to not go 2 nil down. Mm-hmm. And you have to blitz sidestep as well. Get the full power, though. Yep. Yeah. The ball's fine where it is. There's an over tendency by a lot of people to try to scatter the ball if it doesn't land exactly and you're like, but the ball's fine, like it's in like so currently it's in two tackle zones. You can get rid of one of them and then it's only in one tackle zone, and that's fine. But yeah, yeah. Uh, realizing you have to put the reroll in in order to get this girl down the pitch. And uh, off she off she wanders. Oh no, doesn't even go for it. So no. oh it's the catcher on the right gonna no, it's far oh. enough, right? You just just have to get in the half a little bit because you've still got two more turns. But you've you've got a battle for the ball, haven't you? So you don't want to just you don't yeah. want to just bez forward, but you've got to get a bit forward. So I think that's mm. okay. It's getting a bit forward and getting a bit relevant, and I quite like that. Okay. Oh, that's a catcher as well. I didn't even realize. Oh, that's really nice. I didn't realize it was a catcher either. Really nice use of uh, dodge there to get rid of it. Get the uh, get rid of the assist and can hit with tackle. Oh, really nice. And uh, huge power. Move nine doesn't give a shit if he has to move backwards first and then go forwards because uh, he's moved fucking nine. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine if he was sidestep two, he'd be on the sideline. <laughs> it would be a lot stronger, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this rookie can get in, take the dodge through. Yeah, lovely. And this one's and... Gonna... Ooh, I thought he was going to 3-2. Yeah, I suppose difficult not to take the... Uh, it was off... Well, yeah, the, the tackle doesn't matter, but nice to be able to get the, the quick punch on her and make her a little less relevant as well. Because you're not getting her pun getting punched back by her next turn either. Because mm -hmm. this does get that tackle free. So, um, probably fine. That's to open with that hit, though, which was a blockless block. A blockless block. Mm. 
but yeah, both of those tackle tied up on that one wrestler is pretty fantastic news. Oh god, what's he doing? Wow. Is he going to dodge through the other tackler then? What's... who's blitzing? Yeah, this girl. So she has to dodge dodging. through. Double dodge, yeah. And come around and hit. Oh, double GFI. Yeah, was... double GFI as well. That was something. It Gets was. the pow. Does. And goes for the sideline ball. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so annoying. Catches off. Yeah, so now now she fucks off, yeah. Yeah, yeah just had to get in a position to fuck off last time. Oof. Should have rolled a skull, should have rolled a power. Oof. Yeah, definitely should have rolled a power there. Bad, bad, bad play. Terrible, really. Too much heroin. <laughs> Well, now I've got some 2Ds with Tackle, and, uh... Yep. Really easy 2D with Tackle. Mm-hmm. And there's a fast boy. This might be 2-0 at half-time. It, it looks... it looks like that's probably going to happen. Yeah. Gets, him, gets himself in. Ooh! Oh. Puts a reroll in. Doesn't get him. Ooh! Has to follow so that he can get the extra hit. But that means that, um... It's not really an extra hit, yeah, is it? It's, it's not uphill. really extra because it's uphill, yeah, because it's on guard as well. Just needed the power. Yeah, just has to get it, get him away so that he doesn't get surfed. And she's also going to provide hassle if she doesn't come through. Yeah. So, at least it's going to make it pretty tricky for Pastek to get the ball down there. And there is an elf in the way as well, so... Uh, avoiding the 6 plus interception, it does turn the pass into a 4 plus, which is fine. But uh, yeah, no rerolls left as well, so uh, kind of stuck here. Oh, oh yeah, and doesn't no, even go for it, just no. just just turns it down. Decides wow. to stay where they are. I think he should have tried. The, the, yeah, I think so. Could have relayed even with that dirty player, it was free. Yeah, yeah, I, I like running yeah. around, handing off, and then... Weak yeah, diagonal she just, two, weak three, diagonal, four, she just goes five, through. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think he got to try. I know he hasn't mm. done re-rolls in that, but I think, I think it's, you know, it's game-winning, isn't it, if you get that touchdown? It is, 100%, yeah, it's massive. Yeah. Yeah. It is unlikely, but the payoff is too high. Exactly, yeah. And, uh, again, like, it's another one of those small reasons as well, though, because when you're given a situation like that where you can actually go for the play and you can do it, I think a lot of, it can be, it could be, you could find that Amazon coaches are a little bit reticent to do it because they have a tendency of falling over and dying. Mm. And um, that could be another reason why they're not likely to win Chalice because of the knockout format. Yeah. And uh, how they, they can't survive that six games because the couple of times where they have to go and do those things, they're, you know, you're losing out on some big players. But having said that, if you don't make the play, you can't win the game. Exactly. Oh my god, he's got blitzed oh. again. <laughs> and he's oh. the same setup. Oh my god. Well, at least can't catch the ball this time. <laughs> uh, no, can't. Well, maybe. Nah, not really. Well, I mean, you could maybe, have. Maybe. Yeah, you could have, could have done with the witch and the frenzy in the top right hand corner yeah. of the sideline and shoved. Appropriately, you would have been able to maybe get a sidestepper to jump into that square. Rolls. It's a lot. It really of is, yeah. Them. It's pretty funny though. It would be Ooh. funny. One D. Yeah, he's got no guard at all, has he? Hmm. He hasn't anything, Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah touch back as well. Yeah, which was quite likely to be fair. Mm. Well, not quite likely, but it wasn't unlikely. Hmm. Oh, there was a fun one happened in a game I was watching Mr. Page play recently, where because of the position, so the guy was on the, um, he was on rank six, as Dio was saying, mm -hmm. and the ball went out, and uh, it, went, it was a direct throw uh, back in on the three, all the way down and went out the sideline, and then came back in on an exact seven again, mm -hmm. and landed back in the exact square, and... Uh, which is kind of funny because of the squares to go out, that's exactly what, like, it's 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 more likely that that exact throw-in happens again than it is for it to not happen again, if you know what I mean. Because of the way the dice, the maths works. No, it's more likely than not. Which yeah. Could, but, 
Yes, if, if it is going back on a trajectory, that is at the trajectory where it is most likely to come back. Or it's not most likely, but it's it's a trajectory through which it can find itself more likely to happen. Yeah. Which is, inter which is interesting. Yeah. So it seems really bizarre that it would just go out there and come back in there as well. And you're like, no, actually, that's, that's kind of about right. Because it's a seven and it's a one and a three. So, yeah. 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 Um, there you go. It, it was it was interesting. I thought that was super interesting. <laughs> <laughs> You're using my own defence against me. Yeah. Well no. done. Well played. Well Thank, played, sir. Thanks. Hello, Turtle. Hello, Turtle viewers. Thank you very much for the raid. Glorious. Welcome to interesting chalice casts with Kaylon. <laughs> Welcome, Daedle. Welcome, Daedle, because viewers hope the stream went well, buddy. Uh, how are you getting on today? <laughs> Oh dear. Hello. Mmm. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Oh, you stark. Unbelievable. Yeah. Winterfell! Oh, wait. They're, are they all actually named after they're, uh, heroines from various heroines. different things? Yeah, Jane Eyre and. Yeah, yeah. Is that Beatrix Lestrange? Hermione Granger. How is Beatrix Lestrange? Oh, it's not Beatrix Lestrange. What's her name? Beatrix something else. Princess okay. Diane. <laughs> I know it could be Wonder Woman, but also it could be, it just reminds me of that bloody Norwegian guy going going through all the English people. Oh my god, so good. Thank you, kiddo. Yeah. No, Jerry, it's the it's the other one. That's uh, that's pretty funny though. Um, Pastek is not Lord White Wolf, just because he has an Arya Stark. Carry on. <laughs> uh, yeah, from Kill Bill, of course. Just, uh, just ban everyone. Nice. Yeah, I think that's the best thing. Just give them, a, like, let out a rumor that it's seventeen concedes, and uh, it <laughs> isn't, and then just ban everyone. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, he's failed the dodge. Mm-hmm. Mm. This this uh, this blitz has really really put the cat amongst the pigeons for the zones. Right. Shot, lost a player down to ten. Yeah. 10 v big, 10. big stun in the, in the middle of the field. One of the guard as well. Yep. Lost the centre. Mm -hmm. Squashed up. Oh, there's a oh. double skull. Classic yep. Thomas T. Dice. Classic Thomas T. Yep. Thought to be fair, he has rolled two blitzes this match. <laughs> yeah, indeed he has. Yep, he has. Ooh, blitz in the stand firm is a bit shit. It is a bit shit, yeah. yeah. Not even with tackle. But this is a nice hit for him, his tackle versus the mighty blow tackle. Yes, for sure. This is a lovely hit, if he can get it through. And he's Four. already used his reroll, even though he might have been tempted to reroll it there. Oh, no, he's not, because there's only one, one reroll left. Yeah. Jesus, because he had to use the other one earlier on as well. Oof. This is not ideal. It sure isn't. And he's got a dodge there, otherwise he gets served. Yep. Yep. He does he sir he gets surfed now, doesn't he? Or yeah, he does. No, yeah. he's, he's Well, I thought he was just gonna get immediately injured by the mighty blow tackle. No, he's not getting served. Not, he's getting not getting served at all. So what he could have done here mm -hmm. let's have a look at this. Mm -hmm. He could have blitzed from this direction, which would have pushed him to there, then the ball carrier could have pushed him to there, then this guy could have pushed him to there, then this guy could have pushed him to there, then this guy could have surfed him. So he was yep. surfable if he blitzed from the correct angle. Of course, had he done that, he might have then not have anything to protect the ball, but I mean, he could have just rolled yep. some three pluses and protected it. And it's probably worth it, like, even though it's just a lineman, it would have been funny to have go for it. Like, you know, you're not, obviously you take the power if you roll it, you don't, you you don't devil it. it. You don't yeah, exactly. devil it, but I think that was right to, to push to there and then ball carry a block and then and then try and get him try and get him off yeah yeah it's important it was, to try to get get elves off it would have taken five women to get him off but they could have done it mm -hmm. surfed yeah <laughs> yeah kind of did roll all the pushes as well by the way another yeah, push there he did, he did in the hall, yeah <laughs> would have totally would have totally got it oh yeah and there was that block there so he's actually moved the the ball carrier one one square to the left as well which is exactly where it would have been after the follow up after the Correct. after the block so yeah it totally yeah. should have gone for the serve mm -hmm. mm. i like the side step to here right so he's even gone through that square yeah. i like yeah, the side step exactly, to yeah. there. And one, two, three, four, five, six, then that takes this player out. 
I suppose his plan is just to try to stay in front of them as much as possible. But mm. um, yeah, I, I, I concur. I think that would have been nice to have another another person in the back and certainly one of the better players as well. I mean, any opportunity you have here when you're one nil up to get the uh, off the the offense to try to have to blitz backwards to uh, restabilize is uh, is going to be good for you. Well, it was it was more just push, pushing the catcher back, right? Like mm-hmm. like going there, then the catcher gets to gets to fill in here and, yeah. and make the, that stronger. Whereas if you go out, it just literally slows him down. So he's either got a mm. double dodge or the catcher's back mm-hmm. here. And I think it's it's worth the catcher being back there and not in here. But you know, what yep. do I know? Yep. Small small place. Nothing. Nothing. Said nothing to no one by. <laughs> Found a nice little square there for the uh, stand firm. Yeah. For her to get uh, fairly wailed on, if that's not where your blitz is going to come from. Because she needs to be protected here. Because uh, bludge is nice and all, but, um, you know, why give away four dice on it? Yeah, it's not what I would have done. No. Like it is a no, it's a lovely square for the stand firm to be in, but it has to be supported. And that, that doesn't this work. Is, this is there madness. we go. What the there we go. what the fuck is perspective in this turn? Better there. Yeah. This is diabolical. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no offense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All due respect. <laughs> it did at least find the square to support it at the end, but yeah. At the end. Yeah, it's just I don't like. I don't like this. Mm-hmm. It's fine. It was a. Uh, it was a trap blitz. Yeah, I, th- I thought it was a really shit turn. Mm-hmm. Just get your whole team busting on the sideline against a witch elf. Yeah. On, with four turns left to score. Yeah, with four turns left to score is pretty tricky, isn't rubbish. it? Yeah. 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 Sidestep. Well, blood steppers. Never mind side steppers. Yeah. It seems like it was a terrible turn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's all kinds of trouble here. Yeah, and I guess now, this at this point, he's realising how terrible the turn was. <laughs> yep. A bit like in the Artemis match, when Toto Frias would have realised how terrible his turn was. Yeah. The turn <laughs> that was really unfortunate, yeah. And going, oh, yep. <laughs> Maybe he shouldn't have left that uh, trap space in the middle of the field. Because mm. it wasn't trap space. Hmm. This is. I don't know what this is now. Oof. So uh, it's weird. It's gone from like wonderful to terrible. Yeah. It's tricky. It's a thing that. Um, so in the, the same thing happens to dwarfs a lot, where dwarfs will end up trying to go down a corner or go down a sideline for themselves and you just end up in trouble because your movement is just bad and you're in trouble and you're stuck there. Yep. Um, interesting, I thought there. Ooh. Oh, it's his last re-roll, lads. Yeah, that was that was huge. Gets him a surf, work, though, it, it? it does get him a surf and he can put... Well, that's not a sideline. That uh, isn't a uh, side stepper. He's got pushed in there yet, though. And reinforces it somewhere and don't double skull it, buddy. Don't mm-hmm. want to nine it. Yay! Mm-hmm. It always happens, doesn't it? But another, uh, oof, and just after using the Apo as well, which is a little bit questionable to be honest. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, another Rackler. The Rackler gone for the game is going to be great news for the Delves. Stand firm, does a job. Yep. Ooh, I would have not stood firm, actually. Hmm. Um, Mm-hmm. I'd rather be here. Yeah, I'd much rather be there. Yeah. Because he's, look, he's just literally done it one day instantly. <laughs> like he could have had a guard there. Yep. Now, I guess he's now he's getting there and he's got a guard <clears> here. So maybe that was his plan to go. To go around the side? Does he? Need, I don't think he has to he's time. He's blood step. And yeah, he doesn't have yeah. time either. Yeah, he had to go forward, and I think uh, I think that was the key. It was probably that. Yeah. But then the key was just not not make a hash of the previous mm. turn. That's, Mm. Set two turns ago was to like his turn twelve was terrible. Terrible. <laughs> At the risk of sounding like Artemis, <clears throat> it's not yep. what I would have done. Well, no, I mean, I might have done it. You know, like that's the thing. I just don't think Oof. it was the best. When I say it's not what I would have done, 
what mm-hmm. I mean is I don't think it was very good. <laughs> but I would definitely make plays that weren't the wow. best. <laughs> just, just about to comment on how all of the threes were working pretty well, and uh, but yeah, they well they were up until he rolled a four. Yeah, now this is the easiest two D of his life. It is. With tackle. Indeed. But um, there's hardly any recovery though. It's not like he's got a move nine guy with the uh, sprint. Yeah, true. It's basically impossible. Does have to dodge off tackle and has no rerolls. So it's, just it's, not, it's not nothing. He could just block him. Uh, yeah, but he wants that guy for recovery. I would just block him. Yes, but he. he oh, he is going to block him. It's a, it's a two. It, you don't oh. want to make a two plus D without. No. You know. Yeah, you're one nil up as well. So. Yeah. Fuck the recovery. Mm-hmm. He's got two turns to score with a movement of six. Shitter. Yeah. Yeah. Well, didn't roll a skull, so there's something. And you've got a blood step tackle on the ball now. <clears throat> like, that's the thing, isn't it? You've got to get that guy there. It would have been really greedy to have dodged off. I, I agree. If you've got a reroll, maybe, but without the reroll, definitely. Mm-hmm. So, blitzing at the back. Doesn't get it and no. fails the dodge off. Classic one and nine. Yep. And that is GG. It is. Even Elliot would say this was over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Without the follow there, would have been able to. Oh no, the witch can still come through, but she needs a dodge now. But the witch could uh, come through and pick this up and score, right? Hmm. Um, I see no reason not to, and that's why that guy's gone over there to make sure he, she already has another scoring threat in the event that this fails. Oh, not even cutting just, the just gonna go for the Just going to go for the, the thing. Passing yeah, the sun again. Pass, yeah, in the sun. <laughs> yep. You really want to make rather... a pass on that, on that witch elf, didn't he? <laughs> uh, well, she's definitely MVP ready, right? But, uh, yeah, I think uh, if you're going to roll the two, 2 plus anyway, you might as well roll the 2 plus with dodge to go through the corner and pick up the ball and just leg her down because she would have been in the same point as that one. Yeah, I would have definitely dodged through myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She would have just watched. Would have I suppose she, she provides a bit of a screen maybe was the idea. Yeah, but she could have been where he's where he stood yeah. so he could have been the screen. Um, exactly. And you could have just gone all it like because it doesn't matter if you were in 1-0 or 2-0 so he could have mm-hmm. been the screen and you could have had the witch off. Yeah. I concur. So Pastek is going to see if he can uh, make it harder for uh, Thomas T's next round opponent. Correct. By taking out that guy. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't. And uh, yeah, pretty great game for Thomas T, all told. Um, I you mean... know, might have been might have been tricky for Pastek with the um, a bit of an experience maybe showing um, mm. and how this went overall. But uh, going for a foul here on the wrestle lad. I suppose couldn't get her foul off on anybody else, so fair enough. Well, the, the thing is, you see, Thomas T hasn't taken any any big casualties of any good players no. because there were no good players to get injured. <laughs> <laughs> he's finally he's finally cracked it about how to do how to get a decent run. Just have a shit team at the start, and then it's uh, and then it's fine. <laughs> so it gets a nice three D to finish things off. And gets the big power on her. Not undoing, and then pops it in. Uh, on the line off. Mm-hmm. Pretty great. Mm-hmm. So the big question is does he get the MVP on the witch, giving it a level, that proving so that he's actually amazing uh, for having done those two passes? That'd be so funny, wouldn't it, if he does? <laughs> I really think he should have scored on the witch. I agree, yeah, because then she'd be on eight, even if she does get it. Yeah. She does not. Um, no. But there you go. Great match for Thomas mm. T. And mm. congrats to him. Commiserations to Bastek. And uh, thank you very much, Kaylon, for doing the yep. commentary. Absolutely good. Lovely, glorious. lovely hanging out with you, buddy. Thanks very much for having me. Cheers. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.